Jose Bruguera. Four two for Bruguera. And you mentioned those Davis Cup defeats, and he was Bruguera crucified in the Spanish press. Now maybe that had a positive effect. Uh, I really, I, I really feel it did. Uh, they skinned him alive. They take Davis Cup very, very seriously in Spain. Well, he was up two sets to love in the fifth match against Mark Kovermans, who was a qualifier here and lost first round. So certainly he shouldn't have lost from play. that match. But uh, I believe they'll want him back for the next year if he continues to play anywhere near this I level. I suspect they'll invite him. And I, I believe it will be important for him to do well there, too, to prove himself in Davis Cup as well as the majors. Courier down a break. It occurred in the third game. Fail! We're just in the first set. It's best of five. French Open Championships. Zolkens. Looks to me like Jim Curry is a bit confused, and you certainly don't see that very often, bud. His pace does not seem to be affecting Sergi Bruguera. As I said earlier, it seems like Bruguera's hitting the ball as hard or harder than him right now, and that, I'm sure, Jim Courier didn't expect. Two 22-year-olds. Great court coverage brought by Sergi Bruguera. Stays low on that ball. Zero Good preparation on the back, and there he goes. Way too quick for Jim Courier there. Watch this. Takes his time. Very, very quick around the court. Linesman, but getting no relief. But both those balls were clearly in. I'm sure Jim Curry wishes, wishes otherwise, but the depth that Sergio Bruguera is getting off the backhand wing is incredible right now. Look at this ball just inside the baseline, sets him up for this winner forehand down the line. We talked about his rack attention, which is very loose, and how small his grip is. And I think that's one of the reasons he gets this extraordinary kick off this forehand topspin. A lineup of breakers for Sergi Bruguera, which virtually would mean the set. He leads 4-2, it's love 40. As you said, but if Jim loses his serve, he can pretty much kiss his set goodbye. So it's very important to try to hang in this game and put the pressure back on Sergio Bouguer, at least make him serve out the set. Sergi Bruguera is aware of that as well. He knows if he gets up two breaks, it, mentally Jim will start preparing for the second set. He knows how big a game this is. Got a little bit tentative on those two returns. Big point here for both players. From love 40 to 30 40. Good time here to take a chance. 
puts himself in preparation here to come right in. Excellent volley here. Kept it short, seeing that Bruguera was off the court. Bruguera didn't have enough time to get there. Back to Deuce. Another break point. point. Yeah. Every time Jim has turned around, he's bumped into a break point. Nine so far in the set. As we watch Bruguera, he seems very calm. Totally different than he was the first couple games of the match. Look at this, already nine break point chances. That's an awful lot against a guy with the caliber serve that Jim Courier has. Jim only with one break point chance so far. Don't feel he's serving as consistently as he would like to up to this point. Sergio got a little bit tentative here, and he paid the price. Here's a short ball, hoping that maybe Jim would miss, miss instead of playing a little more of an attacking game, and he paid the price right there. That beautiful forehand that Jim Courier possesses, that inside-out shot that's also very tough to read. Trying to pump himself back into this set. Surviving through five break points, and his coaches have barely survived, has a game point. Well, they certainly should be happy that he came from love 40 down in this game. Has a chance now to at least get back to a position where putting the pressure back on Bruguera. 4-3, a lot different than 5-2. I want to talk to you about my new Subaru Impreza and explain its relevance to you and me and the car business, okay? Okay. This car is like punk rock. Now, now just trust me, this is relevant. Do you remember when rock and roll was really boring and corporate? Well, punk challenged all this and said, hey, excuse me, but here's what's cool about music, remember? Now, Subaru, with this Impreza, is challenging some car thinking here. This car is all about reminding you and me what's great about a car and moving forward and making cars better and less disappointing. Just like punk, except it's cars. Oh, I just thought of another analogy. You're looking at Tinia Pettis, commonly known as athlete's foot. But what's not commonly known is many types of fungus cause it. And to cure it all, you've got to kill it all. But today, there's a full prescription strength medicine, the one most recommended by doctors, Lotrimin AF. The broad spectrum power of Lotrimin AF doesn't just get some athlete's foot fungus, it kills it all. Lotrimin AF, the cure that gets it all. Trying to save pennies per call with another 800 service, a package delivery company can lose 17,000 calls a month. At $12 a call, they could lose a bundle. One of the 800 reasons to choose AT&T 800 service, the best in the business. A sweltering Paris afternoon, although we're moving into late afternoon. Well, but as we see here, uh, Sergio Bouguera only got to the fourth round of the Australian Open this year. Second round in Wimbledon, second round in the Open a couple of times, but he sure isn't playing like that today. He's playing like a champion at the moment. Not bad to get to the fourth round on the hard courts in Australia. Protecting his lead, which is 4-3, but Sergi, Sergi has squandered a lot of break points. Eight of them. Oh! What he doesn't want to do is get caught in the trap of last year's finals, Peter Corda, who played a good first set but completely unraveled. I don't expect that to happen at all, but 
Corder was in a similar position, never before being anywhere near the finals of Grand Slam event. Guerra looks a lot calmer than Corder did last year. And is also clearly more comfortable on clay, which is going to help him down the road. Surprised to see Jim Curry attacking so much earlier in the match. I would have thought he would have waited. Out. Yeah, I would have thought he would have waited and seen what Bruguera had to offer. He seems to be a little ruffled by Bruguera from the baseline, maybe. I think he is surprised at the pace that Bruguera's got. As we see here, Curry has got more unforced errors. I don't think that's very surprising, but I'm surprised at how often he's trying to get into the net. I would have thought he would have let fitness get be a little bit more of a factor early on. he's extremely fit. Bruguera is not known as one of the fittest players on tour, although he has improved, it, improved quite a bit over the last couple of years, but maybe that says something about how Jim Courier feels coming into this. He's played some awful tough matches, a lot tougher than Bruguera up to the final. Had to run an awful lot against the man you like to mention, Tomas Muster. Gosh, yes. The Muster man. And even Goran Pirpich made him run quite a bit. So, Sergio Bruguera moving smartly along, 5-3. Bruguera men par cinq. Very intelligent point by Sergio Bruguera, making Jim Curry a run. Watch the angle he hits here, the short angle. Forcing Curry to run once again. Even if he had hit that in, Bruguera would have been there for that shot. When you get up 40 love, it's a perfect time to try to move the guy around. Set game against Jim Courier. Well, look at this. This could be the first set he's lost in the last couple years. Kansas. Two. Two aces apiece. Ruggera had the first, first set, I should say. Pardon me, we, we all know that he lost four second set matches. In Krychek, Pier Pitch, Tarango, as well as Mooster. So. This could be new territory for him. Here's an example, Butter, where pace really pays off. Look at the power behind that forehand. Puts everything into it. Totally open court for that volley. 30 love. Really ripped that forehand. Knew that all he had to do was push it into the open court to win the point. And changed his grip for the volley. It's 30 love. That's not your play. That may have been the first time in 15 years a Spaniard came in off someone's serve. Great play here. Well, don't forget Manolo Santana. Oh, I said 15 Didn't years. You're, you're right, yeah. Andre Semeno would have done it, but he won it in 72, so you're probably right. I don't think you saw a Carlos Rondes Costa do it would do it. and Igueras. Certainly shows that he's thinking to mix it up. Um, Courier. You don't want to overdo it, though. You know, it's a pretty good play, yeah, though, don't you think? He's up a break. And just try to shake Courier up a little. I'm surprised he did it two points in a row, though. Yeah. <laughs> 
40-15. As you see here, Bruguera's done quite well coming to net, 80% of the time. Jim under 50% at the moment. Hits the line. Yep. So, Sergio okay. Bruguera will be serving for a one-set lead when we come back. you're watching in your living room that is the thermometer on the court and that is fahrenheit and that is very hot yeah, let's hope it's not celsius Ruger is going for the first set and he ought to have this point might be in the middle of a nuclear meltdown and i've never seen the umpire bruno rebu put on a cap before but he has one on good first serve here by Bruguera. The Patented inside-out forehand, way too short here. Easy put away for Sergi. 15 love. Big game for Bagheri here. Oh. Never a set for Sergi Bagheri in this brief rivalry. I think you can see from this graph of why it's so important that he wins his first set. His confidence could wane in a hurry if he doesn't get something under his belt. Yeah. He's conversing with Rebu, the umpire. I think what he said, Bud, is that the returner, who Jim Courier, should be playing at his pace because he's serving. And he shouldn't have to wait for Jim Courier to get ready. And that's, that is true under the rules. You're supposed to play to the server's pace. here by Sergi Bruguera. Cancel. Just barely gets to this ball, slices it back. Pretty good pass there. Look at this effort here. Just misses. Two Fifth. inches wide. Dean, 30. Watch him on the full run. S'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît, merci. A genuine dirt kicker with that slide. 15-30. Number three. What a time for it, too, bud. Well, he was in danger immediately in the second game of the match. He served two aces. He was down a break point, and he got out of it. And since then, he's been flying high on the Spanish main. Surprising stat there. Bruguera more aces than Jim Courier to this point. it helps to be six foot two just barely gets inside the line here should have put this ball away a little bit tight there jim tried to hit a topspin lob over his head a little bit too short new territory this is the one he should have put away he waited but uh 30 all is a big point he knows how important it is for him to win this set s'il vous plaît s'il vous plaît mesdames et messieurs merci you would think the longer the match goes the more it would favor Curry. Like somebody's badge is up there Bob Bob, your badge is shining inside. <laughs> He's referring to Bob Cookson, the former USTA president, whose badge apparently is shining in Jim's eyes. Wow. I don't know if that's on purpose or by mistake, because Jim didn't play the Davis Cup match earlier this year. <laughs> it's set point. New territory for Bruguera against Courier. Took a chance, left the court totally vacant. Like Watch this. Look at this. You talk about taking a chance. He had to put this ball away. What a forehand angle. 
great way to win the first set. And it is his. Well, you know Jim Curry is not going to give up trying. Great effort here. Almost ran this down. Might converse a little bit in French to the spectators there. Sergi Bruguera has reached a new precipice plaît, in his si career. A new level. He has won a set from Jim Courier. <laughs> it is just long, a beautifully chipped lob. Kansas. Numbers, John. When we look here, the first serve percentage is very similar. The difference, I think, in this set was Bruguera having more winners than Courier. That's the big surprise. Usually, Jim, with his pace, would have a lot more winners. Unforced errors similar as well. Only one break. That of Courier in the third game, and Bruguera clutched it. Right. Held it. Time for it. And it looks to me like Jim Curry is determined to come to the net. If Bruguera can pass as well as he's capable of, that could be a dangerous move by Jim. On the other hand, he's keeping the pressure on him, so it may work to his advantage if uh, Bruguera continues to miss those passes. He prefers to be in control of the point of the backcourt than have someone attack him, like most all other clay court players. As I said, if he's able to pass the way he's capable of, Jim Curry is in for an awful lot of trouble. Beautiful like shot. He slides so beautiful into the, beautifully into that forehand. We should try to teach that to our youngsters in America. Sliding classes. 30-15. Not only is Jim Courier come into the net more, a lot more than I expected, he's only won about 50% of the points. I don't think that's going to get the job done. I think you should just be a little bit more patient here. Let fitness become a factor, unless he's feeling tired himself. That's really the question right now. How much is this two weeks taken out of him leading up to this match? and pure pitch on successive yeah, days, although it was understandable because of rain. But then he got two days rest before this, and he said, actually, it worked out to my benefit. I think he was concerned that maybe he would lose the goal on pure pitch. He was known as a very fit player. Once he got by that, I think it did help him. He had two days off, didn't play again from Tuesday till Friday. This is only a second match in six days. In five days, excuse me. That's a let. Cut by Gaston Avier Fortescue, the net judge. Oh! So, so a relatively easy game for Jim Carrier. He has the first game of the second, but Bruguera has the lead. knows the law classic in the plaza between the stadium and court one you can be out season. there and watch the match on the scoreboard well i'm sure they'd rather be inside the stadium sure. part, but so umpire rebu asks people to assume their seats i'm bud collins with john McEnroe, our numbers guys leo levin and jonathan schwartz this is for the title of france Great dan wins. hicks will be with us he is with us. He has been in the player's box and will try to have a word with the coaches from time to time and, of course, do the interviews when it's over. And Chris Everett will be with us later on, too. Well, you don't like to give away points like that, John. No, it looks to me, Bud, like Bruguera's feeling the heat a little bit. He slowed down a little bit. He looks a little hot out there. It'll be interesting to see how Jim Curry approaches this set. He came in quite often the first that wasn't too successful oh. 
Interesting to see if he keeps that trend up. This is more of what I expected. Longer rallies. Gans trying out. to wear his opponent down. Well, Courier prides himself on playing better if it gets hotter. Stefan Edberg nearly melted in Melbourne in that Australian Open final, and Courier savored it in that victory. I have a suspicion you're going to be seeing more of that last point. Longer rallies, see if he can wear Sergi down. Anxious, though, to get to the net was Courier on that point. Very surprising. Yeah, it is surprising. I'm not sure why he feels the need to rush into the net so quickly, especially in a shot like that. It seems like he could have waited another shot or two, set himself up a little better. Glad they've let the line judges take their coats off. These are the best-dressed line judges in the world. Their blazers and grays, ties, the women wearing knee-length shorts. Somebody humane has said, take off your coat, but not Bruno Babu, the umpire. Yeah, that's yeah. a very, very surprising game news, for Courier. He seems a little bit sluggish. And it seemed like the best way to get him out of that would be to get involved in some long points, get his legs under him, and test Bruguera. He hasn't really tested no. Bruguera other than the first couple of games. Opportunity to do something no American has ever done and win three straight French Open titles. Put himself in the company of a, a Bjorn Borg who won four straight. Maybe he's feeling that a little bit. Well, did you after winning three straight U.S. Open? I started to feel feel some pressure. It's a uh, it's a great it's a great pressure to feel, but nonetheless there is a pressure there involved, and it looks to me like he's just a little bit uncomfortable with it right now. Oh. Service winner. He'll be a. A lot more comfortable he's able to pull this match out, though. Then he'll be completely happy about the fact that he's won three straight. He's a long way from that. We have this graphic because I think I flighted, slighted my friend Frank Barker in Chicago. He also won it twice, along with Tony Trabert. Budge Patty, who is an expatriate, lived in Europe, still lives here after World War II. And Don Budge the first, he's watching a few rows behind Courier. And I hope Don McNeil is watching in Florida. Won the Grand Slam that year in 1938. This was the second leg. He won Australia, then France, then Wimbledon, then the U.S. And Budge really landed the Grand Slam. Still loves coming to the tennis, Bud. Yeah. Don Budge with his wife, Lori, on his right. Tom Kinnis. See him around a lot of the events throughout the year. Bob Cookson in the left of your screen, former USTA president. I know Bumpy Fraser is here with his wife, Joe. And Jay Schneider, next in line after Bumpy is president of the USTA. With his wife, Audrey. And after that, it's me, I think. Yeah, you're next. I sure want to be around that day. So Stein and Igaris 
really earning their money today. This is a sweat job, not only physically, but whew, emotional. I think this is the first time they have a right to feel concern. Yeah, they certainly didn't have to last year against Petr Korda. Although the year before, Andre Agassi seemed to have the match sewn up. Great match there. Rain delay ago. helped Courier when he was trailing. Gave him time to refresh and rethink.